Hola everyone, it's Edgar. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time here, hola, bienvenidos, como están? I hope you guys are doing great. I told y'all, if you found me from my last two videos, I'm gonna keep pumping out videos on the regular. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays. In the last two videos, we actually did rainbow palettes or rainbow looks with the James Charles palette and the Morphe 25L. But today's video is going to be for all you neutral lovers, but neutral lovers that still love a pop of color. And that's because we're going to be taking a look at the brand new, ooh, the brand new Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam Palette along with her brushes. I know, I know, I know. I saw a couple comments saying, keep your intro short. I think about like two minutes is pretty like average. You know, I might start putting timestamps, particularly for the videos that are a little longer but I just want to thank y'all you know thank you so much I'm continuing to grow and I can't thank you guys for your support it's summer it's hot it's lit and I'm still here burning under my studio lights and making some videos for y'all because I actually can because I got AC now in this freaking apartment pumping out videos for y'all to look bomb as freak all summer long before we get into today's video please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and click the notification bell if y'all want to be part of the notification squad and also feel free to leave your comments questions concerns down in the comments below and give me a big thumbs up if you guys enjoy the video so yeah let's get right into it all right so today i'm blue i believe da buddha <laughs> i don't know this just reminded me of the, that i'm blue da buddha i hope i don't get copyrighted but oh my god y'all we got the new dominique cosmetics oh oh wow campaign images we got Aaliyah j we got Kristen on here. I know this is makeup by Zachary Edward. Holla at my boy, Zachary. So I actually got this gorgeous, stunning, oh my God, this shade of blue. I really hope it picks up as it does on camera. I'm not sure if these are for sale, but I got this at the Kristen Dominique and Artist Couture event. It was at a beautiful house up in the hills. They did a joint celebration to celebrate not only Kristen's launch, but also Angel's Diamond Light Toppers launch. And it was everything. I had so much fun. I had such a great time. The party never stops with them, but with that being said, y'all already know, although I was invited to the mansion party, the party with Angel and Kristen, I do not care who the product is by, who's behind it, who's collabing with the product. If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, is bad. But with that being out of the way, here we are with the goodies. Let me just, oh, 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 oh. Here is Rustic Glam. Hold on, hold on. Oh. We got a little, what's in here? Oh, we got a little necklace. Oh, this is Eerie Me Collection. I always see, um, I love Sarayi and a couple of the girls post this. So, ooh, we got a new necklace. And then we also got brushes, which these are first to the Dominique Cosmetics brand. I think at this point, I hope I don't miss anything, but I know she's done liquid lips, which I completely love. Nude Kiss, it's everything. She's also done glosses with the Lemonade Collection. And then, we, of course, we have Latte. We have Lemonade. Am I missing one? I think I'm missing a palette. Latte, Lemonade. I think I'm missing a palette. I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, this is the first time she's doing brushes. Just a quick little rundown about this launch before I get right up all into it. So the Rustic Glam Eyeshadow Palette is $44. The brush set is $45 if you get it as a set. So that comes out to $9 each. Or if you want just a single one or maybe like three, maybe four, maybe two, maybe one, they are $12 each. So for the brushes, it actually says that they're vegan, cruelty-free, infused with, oh, oh. Infused with hemp seed oil with strengthens and boosts and boosts and boosts the skin around the delicate eye area. All right, Miss Kristen, she said, we're not going to give you just normal brushes. We're going to give you a little skincare infused. I totally freaking love that. All of this launched on June 6th. So I'm sure if you guys ordered the palette, you guys should be getting them just about right now when I'm uploading the video. The eyeshadow palette is available at Sephora, Sephora.com and on DominiqueCosmetics.com. However, the brush set is only available on Dominique Cosmetics. Period. I can't stop saying that. And I, ooh, and period. Oh my God, that's gonna literally kills my brain cells every single time I say that. Let's open her up. <laughs> I am actually heading out to E3 convention right after this. So I'm like, <laughs> I got energy up right now. Ooh, who's that? It's probably my friend saying, hurry. Guess who just woke up? Oh, perfect. I'm not that late. <laughs> Here is Miss Rustic Glam. We have Dominique Cosmetics on the back. I don't know what this is called. It's not embellishment. This is like not tribal print either. Let me know in the comments down below exactly what this type of print is. Really, really pretty upon first glance. I totally love the aesthetic that she's put into latte, into lemonade, on point. Oh wait, berries and cream. There you go. That's the last palette. I remembered it. And here is the palette. Oh, oh, we got, of course, our protected cover. Not cheap, not cheap. This is thick, y'all. She's definitely putting her coin back into her brand. We have a big, large and in charge mirror, which I love in palettes. And then we have our six eyeshadow pans. 
Now, I absolutely love the color selection in here. We have our neutrals. We have these gorgeous blues that pop. We have this really interesting green shade called Cactus. This Dreamcatcher shade, it has, it's a little bit more of a matte with a spark of shimmer in there, where I feel as Bohemian, Wanderlust, and Moonchild definitely have, oh, and Gypsy as well, have more of a reflective sort of little glitter shimmer vibe going on. But other than that, the rest of the colors are matte. The shadow pans are also very, very large, which I appreciate because I got a big old cabeza, so I need big products. Soy Latino, so tengo about like an NC35. I'm a very medium tone skin range, like literally every foundation range I try. The foundation that's for me, it's usually literally the one that's right down in the middle. Blues and purples are a very complimentary color for my skin tone, so I'm really excited to get into this. So yeah, let's get right into this tutorial. I have no plan for what I wanna do. I just wanna use all the brushes, and then if I do need some other additional brushes, obviously I'm gonna use them, but I'm gonna be using all of the brushes so you guys know how these work. So they have the number like DS01, and then this says the blade, but they feel, See, they feel really, really soft, actually. Now, just being completely honest, again, I love Kristen to bits. I've known her since I started doing makeup in like 2016. She's one of the sweetest people, one of my favorites. But now that I took them out of the plastic, they look better. Through the plastic, I was like, oh my God, these look like Wet n Wild brushes. But these do not feel like Wet n Wild brushes. I think that's why she infused the hemp seed oil to really, you know, soften the bristles and like moisturize them so they don't rub off your eyes. But these, y'all, these feel really, really, really soft. I just wish they weren't white because <laughs> white brush is insane, but you know, there's that's not really a big deal. It's not a deal breaker for me. Let me go ahead and prime my eyelids just like I do for all of my looks. Going in with the Too Faced Swan Concealer. Now, because in my last video, I obviously did some crazy rainbow looks, I wanna keep this like half neutral with a little bit of blue pop on the bottom. Just for y'all neutral lovers, I know some of us got places to be, things to do, and we can be rocking around with a rainbow eye. So yeah, I'm gonna incorporate a little bit more of a neutral aspect into this look. By the way, sorry I don't have my face foundation on. To be honest, I work from my eyes to my face. I know in the last videos, I've done like face, first and then eyes just so I didn't look that busted, but I'm going, oh my God, I'm getting hot. Oh, I'm getting menopause. Oh, it's warm in here today. Y'all in California, it's been a little too hot. I am doing my foundation second today because I'm going to a convention and it's burning hot outside. So I wanted my face to be as fresh as possible when I head over. For the top part of the eye, I think I want to dig into these neutral colors right here. Maybe incorporate a little bit of the pink. And then for the lower shade, I plan on using Evil Eye with the Moon Child to give it a really pretty smoked out effect. First brush I'm going to take is the Crease Blur Brush. And I'm going to start off with Desert Queen. Knock off the excess, and I'm just going to pack this on. I feel like this brush, you know what? I actually switch over to the, the blend end shade because it's a little bigger. I usually start off with a bigger brush. That one was a little too small for my, okay, so much better, yes. The blend and shade brush is definitely the way to go if y'all want a big payoff right away. I have patience, but like, I got somewhere to be today, so we're trying to do this real quick. It's also real time as well, because like I said, I know some of y'all got things to do and you don't have hours and hours and hours to get ready. So this one is for y'all. Okay, so I'm literally packing this on. It's building beautifully. I feel like because Kristen has been in this space, she definitely has played with a bunch of makeup and knows her formulas very well because this shade, well this shade, I don't wanna say the whole palette, but this shade is so far so, look at that. Look at that, so good. See, this is why I love doing neutral makeup because rainbow, rainbow palettes, y'all, sometimes those green and you know those, those whites be giving us allergic reactions and I've never really had an issue with a neutral palette. Look this out a little bit, you know, just give us that really sultry effect. If you guys have hooded eyes like me, try pulling out your eyeshadow a little bit because that'll open up your eyes a little bit more and give you a really sexy, sultry look. I want to incorporate a touch of the wildflower. I think this is a gorgeous, stunning, like really pretty pale pink on the, the crease blur and I'm just going to Pop a little bit of that on the outside. Kind of just diffusing that orange shade we just applied with a little bit of this. Ooh, yes, wow. This combination right here is honestly giving me like lemonade packaging vibes. Very pink, very like tropical, not even tropical, like fruit punch is what I'm getting. 
because I don't set my concealer with a translucent powder, if I do the whole buffing motion, it's just gonna move all the product around. So I like to just pack this on, but little on it, I'm not like bam, bam, bam. It's just soft little, you know, pats on here and that'll help diffuse and apply the product at the same time. All right, I love this. So far, so good. I wanna go back in with a little bit more of Desert Queen on that same brush. Just because we mixed in this second shade now, um, I feel like it kind of brought it down, but I wanna really make sure that this orange is large and in charge. She's beautiful. She's stunning. She looks like Linda Evangelista. You're beautiful. You look like Linda Evangelista. Okay, so basically now, because I only have a flat shader brush and an angled brush, what I wanna do is, let me pick up a new brush. I'm going to take this Morphe E17 brush and pick up the shade Suede. Now these shadows, I feel like they are super, super pigmented. So for the amount of pigment that they have, the fallout that happens when you like pick some up is pretty normal. But yeah, going in, tapping off the excess and applying the Suede shade in a sort of outer V motion on the outer part of the eye. Now this is really just going to create depth and really tie the look together. We, obviously we still need a little bit of that lid color, but this definitely, you know, adds depth and dimension to the eye look. Okay, so no tenemos problemas con lo que hemos aplicado. Every shade is good. Every shade is good. And of course, I'm bringing this out a little bit more as well. I'm going to still go in with a makeup wipe to clean the shape up. Definitely pull it out a little bit beforehand. And if you feel like you went a little crazy with that suede shade, it's a little too smoky for you or you just want to tone it down, feel free to go in with the brush we used previously with the Desert Queen shade, no additional product, and just right on those edges, lightly just tap, and that'll really just soften everything and make it look a lot more cohesive and blended. I actually really like this Wanderlust shade, but I feel like that's just gonna be too much going on up here. For y'all neutral lovers, I'm going in with the Bohemian shade, and I'm going to be using the pigment brush. Now, I usually wet my eyeshadows first. I'm gonna see how this applies by its own. I'm sure I'm gonna have to go in with a second layer on top with, you know, sprayed down with a little bit of Fix Plus to really make it pop. It definitely has pretty good payoff for not having any sort of extra base or anything on here. Wow, even like this by itself, it's. I really like this actually, like really, really like this. And then just lightly patting right in between where the suede shade and this me, just so they can blend together right here. I'm going to pick up more on the same brush, again, both sides, knock off the excess, spray my brush down a little bit, and let's see how this applies. It's applying about the same. I can definitely see more of the wet look coming through though. So if you're going out, I'd probably do this more towards like nighttime if you want to use this shade. Because it definitely pops. Unless y'all, you know, if you want to go to the office looking cute as a freak, then go ahead and wet the brush. So I think this by itself looks great, but because I am going to do blue on the lower lash line, I want to add a little bit of a glitter. Gold is really going to complement the blue. Of course, this is extra. I think it looks great just by itself like this. However, I want to look cute AF because I'm going to a convention, y'all. What if I find my baby daddy there? You'll never know where you're going to find the love of your life. I got to be ready and looking cute. <laughs> This is just a little bit of the LA Splash Glitter in the shade Goblet. These are really, really easy to work with. Just put some right here, a little bit closer to the inner corner, right up on the lid. And this is really just gonna amp up the look to a whole nother extra level. So Y'all can see the difference now. It's a little more popping now, a little more extra, a little more look at me. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I have a fan now. I'm to take this to the convention today because it's 100 degrees outside and honestly, me da menopausia. Parece que tengo nueve meses de embarazo all the time because I get heat flashes on the regular. And I'm a boy, which I don't think that's normal, but... <laughs> oh man. That is pretty much it with the shadows for the top part. Now I'm gonna take a little makeup wipe and I'm just going to clean up we have, let's see, fallout? Nope, little to no fallout. There's like barely anything there. And on the outer shape, you just wanna clean it up just like that mm -hmm. now that looks good see, this is why i like doing my shadow before my foundation because it's just easier in case you make a mistake or something and now i'm gonna do eyeliner because i have the guideline for the eyeliner so love this this is the Too faced better than sex easy glide waterproof liquid eyeliner when i tell you this eyeliner if you guys have struggles with eyeliner first of all getting it perfect second of all it just like transferring it and whatnot it's so good so let me just quickly do a little wing liner it might get big i don't know depending if i'm having a good or bad eyeliner day
There is my liner applied this look. Honestly, I don't even have the rest of the eye done or my face on, but I am absolutely loving how this is looking. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and apply the other eye and the rest of my face makeup and I'll be right back because we still gotta go ahead and apply some lower lash lines, some inner corner highlights, some lashes, you know, lips, all that good stuff. So I'll be right back to show you guys the finishing touches. All right, so I'm back. I got the rest of my face done and now it is up to finish up the lower lash line, pop off some lashes, all of that good stuff. Of course, I'm going to continue using the Rustic Glam Palette. I wanna go in with the shade Evil Eye. However, with every single blue I've ever used, they always tend to bleed on the lower lash line. So I'm going to apply this is the L'Oreal Infallible Cobalt Blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to smudge this out on the lower lash line. And then with my eye packer brush, I'm going to go ahead and pack that blue on from the Dominique palette. I'm gonna go in with black inside of the eye, but just as a base for the blue eyeshadow, I wanna go ahead and apply this. I'm actually gonna take the angled brush just to blend out the edges of that. And then with the shader brush, I'm gonna take Evil Eye and I'm just gonna pack that directly over. Ooh! Oh my god, this looks so good! I'm telling you guys, like, you definitely need an eye base if you're gonna smoke it out on the lower lash line. So now using a MAC 212 brush, I'm going to pack on just right along the lower lash line the shade Moon Child. And because this is darker and I can see bigger chunks of, like, blue in there, I'm gonna just spray this just to make sure it really adheres onto the lid. Right up against the lower lash line. This is just gonna give it a little bit of sparkle and dimension. So now I'm gonna take a black pencil inside of the waterline. The one I particularly love to use is the Feline from MAC Cosmetics. They're both eyes done. Surprisingly for the blue, there was like a little to no fallout, which is pretty surprising because blues always tend to have a little bit of fallout. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lashes now. Actually, while the lashes are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the inner corner with my usual highlighter because I was gonna go in with this one, but it's like a little bit of a green and I prefer a gold. I'm gonna take my usual highlighter, mix in along with some Artist Couture. It Illuminati highlighter and just pop that in the inner corner. Like ties the whole look together with this. And I'm gonna leave the brow bone matte only because we already have shimmer on the eyes. Only the inner corner highlights for today. Bam! Wow, that's a big eyelash. Oh my God. I thought these were a little more wispy, but I thought wrong. And then just dusting off this fake, applying a little bit of highlighter on my cheeks as well and some lips, and I think that's pretty much the look for today. I'm getting my brows in tomorrow, so I wanted to let them grow out, but oh my God, I'd be looking like a damn chupacabra. All right, you guys, so here is the finished look using the Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam Palette. What do y'all think? Because I feel like this is definitely one of the palettes that speaks for themselves. And I do not say that often. You guys know I'm very, very critical, especially if you guys saw in my last two reviews. Like, I, I just say how it is. I will have to say, I was surprised with the blue on the lower lash line. Working so good because blues are... Mm, they tend to be a little problematic, but at the same time, I'm also not surprised because the top neutral shadows work so bomb. And like I mentioned, all the Dominique Cosmetics palettes that I've used, obviously, you know, every palette can be a little different, but all the three palettes that I've used previously, they were totally freaking amazing. So my review on this palette is a freaking Plus, I'm gonna be doing more looks with this. Highly recommend to you guys. It's only 44 bucks, which is, I mean, it's gonna be above average than a Morphe palette, but the eyeshadow pans are a lot bigger and the formulation is beyond amazing. I definitely think because of Kristen's expertise in this industry, you know, playing with a lot of makeup and just being a content creator for so many years, she knows what the hell she is doing. I mean, no words, y'all. It's bomb, no transfer, no nothing. So now it is time for a giveaway. You guys know I do giveaways every single video just to show you guys a little bit of love back for spending some time with me here today. There's a prize that I'll be giving away today. Bloop, 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 bloop. All you have to do to enter to possibly win a care package of makeup for yourself is be subscribed with my post notifications turned on. Give me a big thumbs up and comment down below your comments, questions, concerns, and most importantly, your Instagram name because that's how I get in contact with you guys. And of course, make sure you guys check me out all over the internet. Snapchat, Twitter is at Edgar's Makeup as well as Instagram at Edgar's Makeup, especially on Instagram actually because that's where I'll be contacting the winners, announcing them, DMing them, all of that good stuff. So I hope to see you guys there. Before you guys go, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and especially the 
little notification bell because I am loading two to three times a week now. So I want y'all to be the first ones to know what's good, what's popping, and that way you guys will get a notification. And of course, let me know in the comments down below if you're part of the notification squad because I wanna start doing post notification shout outs because y'all are the real ones. I see a couple of you guys always here showing me some love. So I wanna give shout outs to y'all. So make sure you let me know in the comments down below if y'all part of that notification squad. But yeah, you guys, that is everything for today's video. Thank you as always so much for hanging out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.